So I said I wasn't going to sell this 2004 Ford F-150. I was going to die in it, but I changed my mind. Let's go shopping on Copart. After looking at Raptors for 10 years, um, I think I've done enough research to know when I'm going to find a good one. So I'm going to try to find one and uh, drop this truck. I was searching uh, for uh, Raptors that don't need a dealer's license. Been looking at that for a while and there's almost none. And when you do find them, they're, um, they're usually either a rollover case or, or something ridiculous like that. So uh, I ended up finding one in Oklahoma City and um, it is 40,000 miles 2017. It's a vehicle uh, or it's a theft recovery sold by an insurance company. So um, in my world, that's like lights out. So the truck doesn't look like it has any damage. It was obviously uh, paid out uh, by the insurance company. Um, after the fact, they found the vehicle and now they're selling it at the auction. You can usually pick up these vehicles for about half of what they retail for. And as long as there's not a lot of damage to them, you can, um, you, can uh, you know, have a pretty good truck for a pretty good vehicle for not a lot of money uh, and be able to drive it and, and not lose your butt. I wanted to find one that didn't require a dealer's license because I thought, well, you know, I'm gonna save the dealer's fee on this um, and uh, just pay, you know, whatever uh, the copart fees are and, and save the money. Uh, but looking at it, um, over $30,000 copart charges a 20% fee if you don't have a license. They charge a 4% fee if you do have a license. I don't have a license. So I found a broker that uh, charges 5% for their fee, plus you have to pay the copart 4%, so that's 9% versus 20%, so you save 11%. So I'm gonna go through a broker on this, and uh, and, and even though it's, a, it's not needed for a broker, uh, copart is weighted in that direction. So we're gonna do that, and uh, we're gonna bid up to about 38,000 on it. I think that's uh, the max I'm gonna go on a vehicle that I haven't physically seen. Uh, it's still a stupid amount of money. I never spent that much money on a vehicle before. So, um, but uh, you know, I think if it is as good as I think it is, it's gonna be a great, um, it's gonna be a great value. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot. Here we go. So we're logging into Copart under uh, the broker's number so that we can use the broker's license instead of ours and see what we can do. I just have this really bad feeling that this truck is going to blow up and it's going to get out of reach pretty quickly. Uh, so we'll wait for the 23rd lot to come up, item number 23, and then we're going to check her out. All right. Okay, we're up to 36.5 really quickly. Yeah. Yikes. Well, doesn't look good for us. Yeah, there it is. All right. So this thing may go for 40s. It may go into the 40s. It should go into the 40s. Well, thirty nine to fifty. Uh, and there you are. There you are. So that that truck could have gone for well into the forties and 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 been good. Whoever got that truck got it at a good price. Now, when you add taxes and vehicle fees in there, or taxes and copart fees in there, uh, you're probably looking at about forty six thousand. Uh, so it went for thirty nine, and with everything in, you're you're looking at forty five, forty six thousand. So. Um, even though it went for 39, it sounds like a great price. 46 is still a good price, but it's a truck we haven't seen. Um, and it was a theft recovery, so who knows what 
happened to that truck while it was not in the owner's possession. So um, we'll call this one a swing and a miss, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna keep looking because uh, it's out there. Ten years of looking, ten years of looking, and I have not found the one that is at the right price for me. And remember, I'm like I'm like totally cheap. So you know, look, being being a guy that doesn't like spending a lot of money on vehicles and um, and wanting a Raptor are not at all in the same hemisphere because Raptors usually get more than market for for the pricing whether they're new or whether they're used um, unless they've got significant damage to them uh, but I, I just I feel lucky I feel real lucky this year that's the reason why I'm I'm trying uh, that truck my truck is on its last leg and I don't really have another choice so it's either fix that truck and not work on the Broncos or the Wagoneer um, or buy a new truck or a used truck that has less mileage and focus more on the other classic vehicles. So that's what we're looking at now. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, we've got uh, a 74 Bronco and a 73 Bronco that are being rebuilt. We've got an 83 Wagoneer uh, that we're thinking about doing a Hemi swap on. I'm not going to get all those done at the same time, obviously, and I'm kind of dragging my feet on painting as I'm trying to get here installed. But uh, you know, this is the year that I'm going to get most of what I need to get done done, and you can come along for the ride. That's a wrap from All Point Three Garage. Who knows? There might be a surprise in the next video.